Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. I wanted to make a video about uh, things that I learned on the trail when I through hiked in 2018. Some advice and things that I learned and discovered while I was out there in hopes that it can, uh, you guys can benefit from it as you prepare for your through hike. So while I was out there in 2018, I had so many aha moments, so many epiphanies that popped into my head, so many things I figured out uh, while I was out there. So as I would have them, I would write them down. And by the time I finished my through hike, I had a whole bunch of uh, different things that I had learned out there that I thought were very beneficial that I've reflected on uh, while you know, throughout the years as I finished my hike and that I've read over recently as I'm preparing for my next through hike this year. So I thought I would share them with you. There's a lot of them. <laughs> so this may take a little while, but um, it's some interesting information and thoughts in my opinion. So here is what I discovered out there um, in 2018 when I through hiked. So first, the weight of your items in your pack is more so determined by how much it all weighs soaking wet. I learned that the hard way. And cheap gear does not usually cut it on the AT. You must have a good tent, good sleeping bag, a good pack, and a good, good rain jacket. They are essential um, if you're starting in February. Or it's essential all the time, but especially if you're starting early and in the winter. It can snow and rain at the same time. I know this firsthand. I didn't know that before. <laughs> um, I have met the kindest people on the trail. The AT experience gives a whole new faith in humanity and the level of kindness people can have. You will definitely experience that when you go out there. The trail does provide. It provides the opportunity to work out whatever emotions you need to, you, that you need to with help along the way from amazing people through an abundance of opportunities. Always, and I mean always, have your rain gear accessible. Even if it says perfect weather, it will rain. Be ready for the rain at all times unless you are prepared to be wet. Don't forget that everything weighs a lot more when it's wet. Completing a through hike of the Appalachian Trail, running an ultra race, and living life in general is accomplished with what is between your ears. Focus on what you're doing and stick to your goal and you can accomplish just about anything. What people think of me is none of my business, so don't worry about petty drama. It's a waste of energy and attention. People typically tend to see what they feel, meaning if, they have a bad, if they're having a bad day, everything they encounter may be negative. If they are having a good day, even bad situations have a positive outlook. Keep that in mind when people are trying to perceive and understand you. Life is full of big and small opportunities. Be sure to have enough time to take them. It's nice to hike fast and do big miles, but it's also important to not miss the iconic scenes and places to go. I'm glad I was fortunate enough to see so much of the trail on and off of it. It is very much easier, I'm sorry, it is much easier to hike with less things so much less to carry and makes the hike more enjoyable and easy. I believe this could be applied to life as well. The less stuff we have, the easier and more efficient life can be. We've, we've uh, since I had been home from the trail, um, I, we become more of a minimalist and living more minimalist, mi minimalistic and that has really helped um, our existence be a lot easier, smoother. On the good days and bad days, you still take one step at a time the same way. The good days will fade and the bad days will too, but just keep moving forward and enjoy the journey. Things will all fall into place if you just let it happen. The less I try to control the situation and the more I focus on going with the flow, the easier things turned out to be. All right. There will be moments when you are exhausted, wet, cold, really hungry, but embrace the feelings and know that it won't last forever. Just like the different, or just like the difficult situations in life, it will pass as well. Listen to other people 
is more important, I'm sorry, listening to other people is more important than proving you are right. I strive to listen more and argue my case less. Happiness is experienced every single day. It's the type of life you choose to live. Happiness is not acquired by reaching a goal or destination. It's the journey of life. Everyone is in control of their own journey. I realize now that if you look to other people or person to, make, to be happy, you will eventually always be disappointed. Happiness comes from within oneself and is lived every day. If you're struggling to have more inner peace, then make alone time a priority. Having so much alone time out there has allowed me to reach a level of inner peace I never fathom as possible. I don't think someone needs to spend five months hiking alone in, uh, alone to achieve inner peace, but making alone time a priority would help. It's okay to express your emotions and cry if you need to. Don't hold it in. It is all about the journey. So when you get the chance to listen to an elder talk about their past, sit down and listen. The little old German woman I met on the trail in Waynesboro, Virginia, taught me a lot with what she said and didn't say. I saw how kindness is lived through the life of this old woman. Enjoy the journey, slow down, and most of all, listen. Nature can help you heal if you let it. I've come to realize that if you truly love someone, you want them to be happy no matter what happy doing what they love and feel they need to do. I feel I have this kind of love with my husband, Matt. He has never once put a limit on me nor I on him. We both want each, each other to do what makes us happy. Sometimes that is together and sometimes that's with me being in the woods for five months or running long distance races. Our love is strong whether we are physically together or not. Distance doesn't change our connection to each other, nor should it. BLS before ALS. What I mean is referring to something that is used in the medical field. I have a medical past of being a paramedic for 10 years, so that's where it came from. Um, basic life support before advanced life support. I think this can be applied to all aspects of life. I believe that you have to have a solid foundation in the basics before you can advance into more complicated situations and skills. For example, be a basic good human being and then from there, advance on to doing more good deeds for humanity and to help others. But you have to start with being a good and true to yourself person before you can help others. Basics first. One of the reasons I had to come out on the trail is to shake out my raincoat. Let me explain. The raincoat is representing my life and the droplets, the water droplets on the raincoat is representing things that I, I was giving time and attention to that were draining me of energy and was not useful to me. I had to shake out my raincoat in order to focus less on society, focus less on my ego, focus less on social media, focus less on drama that was no good for me, focus less on negative people, focus less on food and activities that were not healthy for me, and focus more on things that were important or are important in my life. Important things like my family, my values, spirituality, healthy foods and habits, a healthier frame of mind, better sleep, more positivity, and the things that benefit me in life as I move away from things that don't. I came out here to shake out my raincoat. Observe and acknowledge your emotions. You're having them for a reason. Suppressing them can be dangerous. Look at emotions as guidance rather than a negative thing that should be suppressed. Passion. I believe everyone is passionate about something. If you don't know what that is, then you should figure it out. While out on the trail, I asked a bunch of people what they were passionate about. The people that were doing something towards their passion for what they are and what they are passionate about tended to be happier people in general. I think there's something to it. I am passionate about running and spirituality, just to name two things. The more I have embraced the two of them and enjoyed it, the happier I have become. Everything happens in our lives, uh, the good and the bad things, our opportunities to learn and grow. 
everything happens for a reason and we are given the opportunity to develop to develop each day it's our choice to learn from them or not i started the appalachian trail adventure as a scared girl by the end i discovered my strengths and became a courageous woman the love honesty and positivity that i have created or we have created in our relationship with Matt and I have fueled my strength while out on the AT. We have created a beautiful and healthy relationship that we both have wanted. It has not always been easy, but it is based on values we both consider important. It is a beautiful relationship for us and it makes me very grateful, happy, and most of all loved. Sleep. I am sleeping better out here on the trail than I ever have in my whole life. I thought long and hard about why that is the case and finally figured it out. I worry significantly less than I ever have in my adult life. At this point, having less worry and stress allows me to sleep soundly. I fall asleep right away, stay asleep all night, and wake up rejuvenated with an abundance of energy. No melatonin needed. Better and more, sl better and more sound sleep is a great side effect of less worry and stress in my life. Surrounding yourself with people that you strive to be and admire. Being on this trail and spending so much time alone has allowed me to reflect heavily about the people I surround myself with in my life. I believe that I am a stronger and better person by the people that I associate with. It has not always been easy, but I have significantly reduced or eliminated people in my life that are negative, draining, drama-filled, or just plain make me feel bad. Associating with more positive and determined people have helped me become more so that way myself, and I hope that I have been the same uh, for them. Make personal time uh, for yourself a priority. I realize that to change up the monotony of walking all day in the woods, I would look forward to a movie date with myself. I had downloaded onto my phone a bunch of movies from Netflix and once or twice a week I would make it a point to get to my campsite a little early and have time to enjoy a movie before I went to sleep. I know it sounds silly, but it was, it was some fun um, me, time, <clears throat> me time that I looked forward to and made me happy. I know some people may think that I should not bring movies or technology onto the trail experience, but it was something that made me happy and I enjoyed and I looked forward to it. Once I realized that I made it more of a priority, I think everyone should find something that they enjoy and make it a priority to enjoy it on a regular basis. A big lesson I realized after thinking long and hard is how I perceive life. I can perceive it in a positive way or a negative way, and I will give an example. I struggle a lot with the breakup of my ex-boyfriend. For a long time, I perceived it as a negative thing that happened and a great loss. Again, having so much time out there to think about things, I eventually realized I needed to change my perception of the situation. As soon as I started perceiving the relationship as something that taught me so much, provided a lot of good times and remembered all the negative things that I didn't have to put, put up with or endure anymore, my attitude about the whole situation changed. My point is, you can perceive every situation in your life in a positive manner or a negative manner. Even better, perceive it as a learning opportunity and figure out what the lesson was and that may help you move on like it did for me. Perception. We can choose how we perceive situations in our life. We can choose to perceive things in a positive manner or a negative manner. Our life is how we perceive it and it is our choice of how we want to do that. For example, all of this elevation climbing hills that I have, I have to get over. I can look at it as a negative way and say, great, another hill that I have to get over that is going to be hard and will make me tired. Or I can change my perception and think of it as, great, another hill that I will have to climb and I will get over to make, and it will make, help make my muscles stronger and more capable to handle other hills in, down in the future in the races that are coming up. Each hill makes my body stronger and my mind as well. It is all in how I choose to perceive it. Comparing yourself to others can be harmful. Because, or being out there on the trail, uh, there, are, there were a lot of women that were significantly stronger hikers than I was. 
A few times I caught myself comparing my abilities to theirs. After some thought, I realized that it's not only pointless, but can be harmful. We are all out there for different reasons, and those reasons motivate us to have stronger days or days that we need to take a break and rest our bodies. Everyone says, hike your own hike, but until I really started putting that into practice and not comparing myself to other hikers, I struggled with it a little bit. Once I stopped comparing and focused more on what I was doing, I had a significantly more positive and stronger experience. I tended to not to, um, I intended to try to not compare myself to others after the trail as well. We, we never know where someone is in their life, so how can we compare ourselves to them or even judge them for that matter? I will strive to not compare or judge others, especially as easily as I used to. Nature and the earth are completely beautiful. Being out in nature for the past five months has granted me a new appreciation for its beauty. Because of this, I have a new disgust for littering. Please do not litter anywhere. Take it a step further and pick up litter that you see and try to recycle. When I get home, I intend to make preserving this beautiful earth more of a priority. And I have. <laughs> Many times I would walk along with my eyes looking down and my head down, focusing on the path. I would do this until I realized that my neck was stiff and then I would look to the left and I would look to the right. Once I started looking around more often, uh, my neck would hurt much less and would be less stiff and I would get to see and enjoy nature and the wildlife that surrounded me so much more. I think I need to do this in my own life after the trail as well. It's easy to get tunnel vision on the day-to-day -day task and forget to take a moment to look around to notice the beauty of our life that surrounds us. I will make it a point to be more present in my day, in my day-to-day -day life, and look around so that I miss much less of what's going on around me. Less is better, and less is love or gratitude or water. When you get to a technical part of the trail, slow down, breathe, take it one step at a time. When you get to a challenging part in your life, slow down, breathe, and take it one step at a time. I don't learn very much when things are easy, but I learn a heck of a lot when things are hard. Embrace the difficulty and appreciate the opportunities. When you have love and support at home, like I do with my husband, you have incredible strength within you, and it does not matter where you are. Forgiveness. After having so much time to think out there, I realized that dwelling on things that have happened in my past and that were, causing, uh, that were caused by people had a negative effect. Holding on to those memories and constantly thinking about how bad I feel about them is not healthy. I realized that I needed to come to terms with exactly how I felt about the situations. I realized that people and the situations come into my life to teach me something, whether it is good, a good or bad situation. The bad situations do have a tendency to be toxic, especially when they have, are held inside. I received tremendous relief and peace when I confronted the emotions and then forgave the person that caused them. People can release those emotions in many different ways. For me, I wrote a letter to the person that caused me a lot of negative emotions um, for me and then sent it to that person. I think forgiveness is important, but even more important is the lesson we learned from the situation that we went through. Everything happens for a reason and a purpose. And when I look at things that way, I'm no longer a victim. We all have great potential more than we know. So think big and know you can do it. When I started the Appalachian Trail, I didn't know if I could get through it, but I did and it has changed my life for the better in so many ways. Think big and go for it because we all have unlimited potential. Embracing my path and doing what I feel I need to do in my life, regardless of what other people think or express what I should do. I believe that we are all unique and develop in our own unique ways. And to do that, we need to follow our own path.
For me, it was being out here on this trail where I was getting a huge um, opportunity for self-discovery. For me, it was also doing long distance races where I discover so much about myself and how I want to live my life and so much more. I believe that people need to embrace their unique ways and paths regardless of what other people think they should do. It was, it was suggested to me that after my first 100 mile race, I should stop. But I'm so glad that I didn't because it led me to so many amazing opportunities. It was expressed and implied to me that I should not do this trail and and I, um, but I did, and I feel I needed to do it, and it has changed my life in many ways for the better. I hope that everyone embraces and does what they feel they need to do, regardless of what society or people close to them suggest or tell them they need to do. We need to live our own life and create our own path. One of the things I, most, I am most grateful for is my relationship with my husband, Matt. Our relationship is based on love, kindness, and honesty. With a base of those virtues, we both have the strength to do anything. It's great when it's raining on the trail because the bugs leave you alone and, you, and they don't annoy you during the whole hike. It's great when it's not raining on the trail because you don't have to hike the whole day cold and wet. There's good and bad to every situation we get to choose which side of the coin we want to focus on. There will be times when people want to start conflict with you. This is the perfect opportunity to focus on how you want to handle the situation. It is hard for someone to argue with you if you are not arguing back. While in the situation, I choose and hope to continue to choose to not respond with negativity and to send that person love instead. Most of the time, the situation will be resolved on its own. I have put that into practice since I've been back as well. I have realized to try to be more present and enjoy the moment is important. About halfway through the hike, I found myself stopping to take in the sights, a feeling, an emotion, and experience. I realized in those moments that I am exactly where I need to be at that moment. By doing that, it made me feel good and I began to do it more often. The more often I did it, the more present I became, which made me less worried about the past and less worried about the future. More appreciative of exactly where I was and what I was doing at that exact moment. And the last one. Thunder and lightning storms are fascinating to me, but thunderstorms on mountaintops are spectacular. I witnessed a an amazing thunderstorm while I was in the shelter on the top of a mountain one night and it was one of the most memorable nights that I had on the trail. I'll never forget that night. It was incredible. So those are my words of wisdom. That's what I learned out there when I went in 2018. I hope some of these life lessons or uh, tips you can apply to your life or to your through hike. Um, it's a truly is a life changing journey that you go through when you're out there. I was so grateful that I was able to do it. I'm super excited to be able to go again uh, this year. And um, it's, it's an incredible experience, it really is. You can get so much out of it. And um, I have no doubt that you will, but I hope you're prepared and ready and have a fantastic, memorable time. All right, thank you so much.